Hi and welcome back to the Polymer Clay channel. So today I'm going to show you how to decorate a plant pot with a really really cool technique. Now I've tried several techniques on my channel and this is one of them and I just haven't filmed it before so I decided to film it this time and see what you think of the creation. So the other thing, my plant really needed to be repotted and kind of that was the inspiration because it's growing massively since I did my last pot and it really does need a new one. So that was my kind of uh, encouragement to do this video today and I'm going to show you how I did it. So here we go.
since watching the tutorial, I really enjoyed doing that. The only thing I found a bit difficult was obviously doing it on a round bowl, and I've not done that before. So I have traced things before, as you saw, um, for my wonderful horse, the one that's behind me there. Um, that was the first thing I did that I traced. And what I did this time is actually printed out um, some cutouts, some little um, pictures from Canva. Now Canva is absolutely brilliant. I'm going to link that in the description below. Um, you can get royalty free, copyright free pictures and you can just print them out and use them and it doesn't matter who sees it. So that's where I got the picture from. Um, I will see if I can link it below. I'm not entirely sure if I use the pro version um, of one of the uh, images or not but if it's free I will certainly see if I can link it below or at least Put a picture up somewhere so uh, you can see which one it is and that way you can actually grab the same pattern as me so i'm going to show you what it looks like now so here we go now as you were well aware with polymer clay once it's baked it is so light it's absolutely brilliant so this design I wanted it to be really detailed and have a completely different look to what my normal kind of like you know patterns look like and i think i kind of got it with this now the only thing that was a bit more difficult is obviously making sure that it goes on in the right place that you want it to and then of course it matches the other side now if you don't want it to match brilliant because you can just pick another pattern and put it wherever you like um the only thing i will say is with this one just make sure that you press it well enough in the bowl so that it gets all um of the imprint so that you can then create the pattern on top of that obviously it's not perfect because you know when you're tracing onto polymer clay it's not going to be perfect and i had to do the majority of it upside down otherwise you wouldn't have been able to see it at all um the ideal thing if you're not filming something is to have it the right way up and then do it at eye level um so you'd be sort of looking at it like this and you'd be able to get all the patterns correct but because I had to film it at the same time, I kind of had it upside down. Um, and yeah, and then every now and again, I turned it around so you can see what it looked like. So you may notice that I'd actually put a community post um, a little while ago, and this has turned out completely different to the community post. So this green color came from a whole bunch of acrylic paint and a technique that just really, really wasn't working for me. So I decided to mix it all up and keep some of the pattern in there. Um, so it's got a really pretty swirly design when you look nice and up close. Um, and then just basically go with it. I'm not one to waste any clay. I'm not one to give up on a technique. So I literally just went with it and it turned out really really pretty so along with this kind of really pretty design i decided to make the top part of it really interesting and that meant that i just went with it and didn't smooth out the edges didn't trim the edges and then went along with it with uh, gold leaf as you saw now i love this because it kind of just gives it that really old sort of look and and different as well there's a number of pots that i've seen that look all wonderful and perfect and I wanted to make something really interesting and really different as well. So as you can see, this is now the opposite side. Um, the design I really like, and it looks great from a distance and also up close as well. And you'll notice obviously the mica powders that I put all around, I made it again, sort of a worn effect um, because I really like that sort of design. So getting it off the bowl, now, I filmed it this time. Whether it makes it into the video or not depends on how scary it looks on camera, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, if you have seen it, well, that's how I did it. So I'm just gonna explain. Now, putting a tissue blade inside this is gonna cause scratches, um, but you know, it's inside a bowl. Um, this isn't a fruit bowl, this is a plant pot. So no one is gonna see inside here. It's gonna have a whole bunch of dirt in it. So really, really doesn't matter. The only thing I could say is that if you wanted to put the, the dirt into um, a little uh, muslin bag or something like that to start off with, um, or something that will drain really well, you could put that in there first and then the dirt wouldn't go straight onto the polymer clay. So that would work as well. Now I can tell you from experience that polymer clay and plants, well, they don't mind. My plant grew quite a lot. I am gonna show you some pictures at the end of how much my plant has grown from the first video to right now and it's been in a polymer clay pot ever since so I can guarantee you that plants don't mind a polymer clay pot. So the only thing else I'm going to do with this one before I cover it in dirt is put some holes in the bottom so it has the proper drainage 
and I'm gonna do that with one of my drilling tools. Probably gonna make the holes quite big because I want the plant to have enough drainage to make sure that obviously it doesn't get water clogged or anything like that. I do love my plants. Um, and I want this one to grow even bigger. So yeah, um, it's gonna have some holes in here. I won't be able to show that at the time because obviously when I next show you the pictures, um, they'll have a nice, wonderful plant in it and it will be marvelous. And I'm also gonna do the before and after photographs as well. So you'll see um, the plant when it was very little um, and going into the purple pot and also the transfer into this one. So this is how you create a really pretty very ornate plant pot from Polymer Clay. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching the tutorial. I uh, um, you can get royalty free, copyright free. Blah, blah, blah. Um, what else was I going to say? Finished it where it where it kind of you know went. I guess. Oh, finished it where it went. I guess. Shall I wear it as a hat? And I will probably make the. I'm probably make the. Oh my god. So this is how you create plum pot, a very pretty plum pot, plum pot, plum plum, 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 Thank God for that. That was my hot water bottle falling on the floor. Because it's blooming freezing today. Yes, yes, I had my hair done a little while ago, so it's very long now. Um, yes, it's a couple of days. I go back to work on Monday after my holiday, and I don't know how to do it at the moment. So, yes, yeah, there we go. Anyone got any ideas on hair extensions? Please let me know, because I don't know how to do anything with it yet. We will see. Anyway, happy Wednesday. Happy whatever day it is that you may see this. Hopefully it's Wednesday. See you later, bye.